Thank you for viewing this Danfoss Drives technical support video. This video will discuss a VLT drive displaying an alarm for mains phase loss fault. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. Hello, I'm David Boyer, Danfoss Service Training Coordinator. I'm going to explain what to do with a Danfoss VLT that is displaying alarm 4 mains phase loss. The drive reports alarm 4 when it detects excessive AC ripple voltage on the DC link. The drive can tolerate some imbalance when it's lightly loaded, but at some point it'll reach the trip threshold. First thing to check, of course, is incoming voltage. Measure right at the drive input terminals and not further upstream of any switching devices. 3% is the tolerance any worse than that, and it's probably an incoming power issue. If the voltage is within tolerance, the next test is to measure the incoming current. So run the drive up to a speed just below where the alarm 4 happens and measure the three currents probably you'll see one that's lower than the other two. So let's say uh, this meter is reading low. Swap that power lead with a different phase and repeat the test to see what does that low current follow. You know, does it continue coming in on the same incoming power lead or does it stay with the same drive input terminal? If the same incoming power lead continues delivering low current to a known good drive input leg, that proves the trouble is upstream of the drive. If the same drive input terminal continues drawing low current from a known good incoming power leg, that proves the trouble is inside of the drive itself. And remember, of course, what we're looking for here is whether the trouble is upstream or downstream from the point where you swap leads. So be aware of the location of contactors and disconnects and circuit breakers and fuses and things. All of those things could be the cause of the problem. So if you've got good three-phase incoming power on an oscilloscope, it'll look like this. Every phase is the same magnitude. They're equally spaced in time. Now watch this red phase. It shifts a little. Uh, this could be caused by single-phase reactive loads on the same power system as the drive, and that's a little more exaggerated and a little more. And notice uh, what we said the DC bus will have AC ripple voltage on it, and the DC bus is going to uh, be essentially rectified. The peaks of every phase is, is what the DC bus is going to see. And notice this big dip here. So at heavier loads, the bus can potentially dip that low, and that's going to be that high ripple voltage that the drive detects. And then, of course, if you're missing a phase entirely, you know, look how low that the bus can potentially dip during that part of the cycle. So if it's the drive causing the input current imbalance, that means the SERs, the diodes, or the SER gate circuit in the drive are causing that. So you'd want to do the static check um, and the SER gate test. Now, in rare cases, the drive can complain about a mains phase loss when actually the trouble is at the output of the drive. So if everything looked good at the input, measure the motor current for balance. If you detect imbalance at the, the motor leads, then disconnect the motor, uh, measure the drive output voltage for balance running the drive with no motor. If that is not balanced, that proves that your drive has a bad output and that's causing the alarm for. Um, if it's balanced, then you'd want to inspect your motor and your cabling. So that's what you do for alarm four. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for listening. That covers it. I hope this helps you find your solution. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Danfoss Drives can provide additional technical support, parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call 1-888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after-sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website 
at www.danfossdrives.com. For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com. Thanks again.